And so I'm calling on private insurance companies. Don't hide behind the fine print and a technicality. Pay what you owe your customers. Cover temporary housing costs and natural disasters and help those in need. That's what we should all be doing now. And that's what we are doing. So far, we have provided, the governor's help as well, $100 million in critical assistance directly to people in Louisiana by putting $500 in their bank accounts once they've contacted us. That's what we're going to come back and let all you people know exactly how to do that. That'll happen. And secondly, as the governor's request, FEMA is helping with what fancy phrase, transitional sheltering assistance, meaning a place for you to be safely able to sleep at night and be, be secure, like covering your hotel bill. You're racked up because you couldn't stay at home during the hurricane or because your home does, is not livable now. We're making sure this kind of relief is equitable for those hardest hit. The resources they need have to be, get to them. And so no matter who you are, if you live in an affected area, please visit disaster assistance.gov once you're able to use your cell phone or call 1-800-621-FEMA. -FEMA. That's 1-800-621-3362. And folks, Hurricane Ida is another reminder that we need to be prepared for the next hurricane and super storms are going to come and they're going to come more frequently and more ferociously. I've been working closely with the governor and our colleagues in Congress in both parties on my Build Back Better plan that will modernize our roads, our bridges, our water systems, sewers and drainage systems, and power grids and transmission lines to make sure they're more resilient. I walk through the backyards here. So many telephone lines are down. So many telephone poles are down. So many of the, of the way in which we transmit energy is lost because the old wooden telephone poles. We know for a fact if they're underground, they're secure, cost more money. We got to not just build back to what it was, put the same old poles up. We got to build back better. We got to build back more resiliently. And we got to make sure we do the same thing across the board. Think about how that 760 million West Shore project here in Southern Louisiana will build miles of new levees, pumping stations, and drainage structures to provide protection for 60,000 folks in the area. It will change their lives in future storms. I told the governor that he has my full support, and I mean it sincerely, he has my full support to get this project done. And folks, I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting. I know the folks in Lake Charles, who I visited earlier this year, are still hurting from Hurricane Laura. I want you to know we're going to be here for you. And with regard to Lake Charles, I put in a request in the, new, in the budget to provide for help for recovery for Lake Charles as a consequence of Laura and Delta, two storms that they still haven't been gotten the needs that they met that they have. 